Hello and welcome back to Game Episodes. and in today's video we've got something that's a little bit unique. We're actually going to have a little bit of history here with Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. In the new Renaissance update there's a unit called the Musketeer Unit. This unit fires a gun, it fires a musket. And while muskets have an incredibly slow reload time, they have been used historically to execute bad people who were on death row. So in today's video we're going to execute a few evil units with a musket firing squad. Without any further ado, let's get right into the action. A typical firing squad consists of about 12 musketeers. So here we have lined up our 12 musketeers. And let's execute some evil, bad death row inmates. How about a squire? Let's try that first. Easy work, man. He must have been a bad squire. Let's see if our musketeer firing squad can take out a knight. Bam. Sayonara. The evil king who took too many taxes from his people is now subject to execution on death row. Will they take him out? Oh my gosh, they took out the king in one shot. What's the point difference there? Okay, they do have twice as many points. So that's, uh, that should be a given. What about, uh, what about the evil mammoth? Can they take out an evil mammoth? Uh-oh, they gotta reload now. They're gonna take too long to reload, I bet. There goes a few of them right there. Oh, they did it! No way! A few of them got to reload and they actually took out the evil mammoth. Although, a few firing squad members were lost. Let's see if the firing squad can take out the evil minotaur. Oh, they shot him right as they were about to get to him. Oh my gosh. See a minotaur. Can they take out a god? Firing squad versus Zeus. Evil Zeus, of course. He's on death row. Yes, they can. Can they take out the evil Viking Jarl? Peace out. What about the evil Monkey King? Oh, they missed. Uh-oh. The firing squad is a bit in trouble here. Will they reload in time? Yes, they did. They reloaded in time. The Monkey King is gone. But a few of our firing squad members were killed. All right, and the moment you've all been waiting for. Firing squad versus executioner. Yeah, that was uh, pretty straightforward there. <laughs> Let's see if they can take out some of the giants. Here's the samurai giant. Let's see if they can take out the evil samurai giant. Not with one shot. Oh, wow. Oh, they're reloading. Dang, they took him out! I can't believe that. They took out the samurai giant. Alright, let's try the tree giant. Not two of them. Oh, he's a... He's a cyclops tree giant. <laughs> Check it out. He's got one eye. A one-eyed tree giant. That's why he's evil. That's why he's on death row. He's a cyclops. Uh-oh. One left. Misses a shot. Oh, he's still alive. He got taken out. Looks like the tree evil tree giant wins. What about an ice giant? The evil ice giant. That didn't look like it did anything. It didn't even move back. The ice giant's just angry. He's angry that he's on death row. He has a vengeance. Done. Let's see. Let's do 12 musketeers versus 12 executioners. 
So firing squad versus an equal number of executioners. Oh, they did not get taken out in one shot. It looks like an even more old school, more historic version of execution for death row inmates. The executioner with the axe is actually a little bit better than the firing squad when matched up uh, with even numbers. That's going to do it for today's video. It was a little bit of history, a little bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new Renaissance faction and the Musketeer unit. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.